Hey, today is going to be very, very special. We have a live on Instagram and on Facebook. We talking with a whiteboard lesson. And I'm going to be jumping right into this bad boy because I'm going to put on the professor hat today, the teaching hat. Regardless of what you do for an occupation, whatever your career is, I want to teach you how to be better on how to amp up your results in your business, in your life, in your energy, and what it's going to take for you to be successful. I call it the six P's, the six P's to success. I'm going to be talking a lot of business today, not just training, not just training. I'm talking in business entrepreneurism. As a matter of fact, I made a post yesterday on the Instagram and Facebook and talked about, are you stuck in a rut? I have like record number of people who DM me because it all goes down in the DM, right? All you like, hey, thanks for the message, TD. Uh, I'm a little stuck. I got to get out of it. So, hey, snap your band. Most of you have won a band by this point. Snap your band and get your mind right. And I want to see the comments flowing, baby, like a river on a June afternoon, baby. Let those comments come. I want to see your city, state, and country. Your city, state, and country. Sometime in the next few minutes when I'm going out and sharing my six Ps to amp up your success of what it's going to take. So share it. Hit your questions on anything on business, on entrepreneurism. This today, this live, is not just for trainers and coaches. It's not just for fitness enthusiasts. It's not just for mind right maniacs or fire breathing dragons. This call is for anyone who wants to amp up your results in your business, in your occupation, and in your career. So without further ado, if you're going to Idea World in just a matter of 13 days, 13 days, yep, 13 days, I have my one day mentorship on June 26th. If you're gonna be there, hit like and hit some hearts and, and all that because we're going deep on your business and on your life right there. It's a full day. It's not like 15 minutes of this live where I paint it out. It's gonna be a full day to unleash you, to unlock you, to make sure you're not only stuck, but that you get caught on fire. So take a look at all the details. And of course, what would this call, what would this live be on a whiteboard? Without my friends from Carnison. Yup, Carnison, thank you for helping make me strong. I got 13 days to get jacked up and ripped up for the yes idea world. And uh, today's live is powered by my friends at Carnison. You're like, hey, T, I've never been on live before. I'm not sure what Carnison's all about. Where is it? I keep going into GNC or the local store and asking for Carnison, but it's not there. Yes, it is, my friends. Yes, it is. Carnison is beta outing that's found in leading major brands, such as some of the ones behind me, including what I'm giving away today on this live cage muscle. Yep, this is the in cage, okay? The pre cage and the in cage. This is the pre cage I'm holding in my hand right now. 3.2 grams a day is recommended. And if you're just starting out, you have 13 days before Idea World to get this going uh, in your systems. 90 grams, 90 grams over a 28 day period is what's recommended. So like right now, I'm like double dosing. Yeah, because I'm getting ready to rock and roll. As a matter of fact, if you want to see my exact protocol of what I do with the Carnison, if you go to, check this out, I actually, I actually uh, put it in the link here, Team.carnison.com. Check it out. Team.carnison.com slash Todd Dash Durkin. My name. Imagine that. Team.carnison.com slash Todd Dash Durkin. You can see my exact routine I'm following right now so I can get ready to rock and roll up at Idea World coming up in Anaheim, California. Hey, if you want the Carnison swag bag, please say, yo, TD, hook a brother up or hook a sister up with the Carnison swag bag. I want to see the comments coming through. I can't see your comments right now because I'm going to be on the whiteboard in just a matter of 30 seconds here, and uh, that's going out today. Let me see the comments coming through. I want your city and state. And what would a lie be without all this great gifts? I got my impact body plan going away. Boop. You want that? That'll get you jacked up. Along with the Carnison, you'll be on fire. The Wild Book's going out. The Mind Right Maniac shirt is going out. Thank you, Under Armour. And another great hoodie. Yeah. Impact Mind Right Maniac. I want you to comment right now which one you want. And uh, man, this is going to be a fun live. And it's not just about training. So, uh, Carnison, thank you for powering this bad boy. If you don't know where to find it, go to team.carnison.com. Take a look at find it. Find it. And you can figure out where to find it. Or DM me. I know where to find it. I'll channel you in the right direction. And you'll find it right there. That's it, my friends. It's time to rock and roll. Now, I do want your questions. This is unlike most other of my lives. I'm actually doing what I do with my mastermind members many times, is I'm going to the whiteboard. Anytime I strategize about success, about what it's gonna take for you to get unstuck, 
I'm going to teach. You're going to ask questions. So I want to see the questions coming in over the next few minutes, not just posting, I want the swag bag TD. I want one of the books. You can do that, but I want to see questions coming in on how I can best serve you and help you, not just at the one-day mentorship or the three-day mentorship or the another live event. Right now, right here today at 12.08 in the afternoon uh, in San Diego, how I can best serve you. So one, two, three, four, five, six Ps. The six Ps to amp up your business, your results your leadership, your marketing, all these things. Now, these are fundamental principles, and you can write them down if you want. Don't write if you're driving. If you're working out right now, hey, by the way, take a look at those knees, baby. Feeling like a million bucks. First one, the first P right here, guys, is this. Fill in the blank. Purpose. Notice it's the foundation. If you're not clear on your purpose, it doesn't matter. All these other P's I'm going to fill in, it doesn't matter. Let me ask you what your purpose is. As a matter of fact, if you'd be as kind to share right now what your purpose in life is in your business. Because if you get unclear, and right now I'm at Fitness Quest 10, of what your purpose is, if you don't know it or you're unclear, you get foggy, you're stuck in a rut, then you gotta get revived. Literally put an oxygen mask over your face and relive what that purpose is. Purpose, I'm gonna change lives. I'm gonna create impact every day. I'm gonna motivate and inspire 10 million people to greatness and get their minds right. That's my purpose. That's why we have 42 fire breathing dragon trainers and coaches out here at Fitness Quest 10 changing lives as we speak right now. All out here is rock and roll and a little lunchtime crowd. Uh, but what is your purpose? What drives you? What gets you up? And all I can tell you is this. If you don't spend time on constantly reminding yourself of your purpose, why you exist, why your business exists, why you work for the company you work for, then you forget why you're doing everything. Everything. Simon Sinek talks about, uh, and start with the why, and we keep coming back to the purpose, purpose, purpose. Remember your why. Simple reminder, get to the beach, get to the mountains, make sure you're writing and working on your business and on your life. That's what I'm doing at the One Day Mentorship, working on your life and your business and strategizing with this because if this doesn't happen and you don't have clarity on that, all of these other fancier, sexier things, all of a sudden you're like, hey, Todd, I'm stuck in a rut. Hey, Todd, I don't know where I'm going. And you just, you can't produce at the level that you want to right there. So if you're in business, whether it be training business, maybe you're in the supplement business, nutrition, maybe uh, you're a teacher and you got summers off, Congratulations, Summers. We've got nine, nine scholarships going out to Brick, New Jersey. Nine scholarships. Scholarships. Can you say scholarships going out today to Brick, New Jersey? Those are the impact scholarships going out tonight at Brick High School. Congratulations to all you folks that won. You don't even know who you won yet, but we got nine of them. Purpose, man. Purpose, purpose, purpose drives the bus. Let me be clear. Next up in an organization, wherever you work and feel free, you want to give your company some love? Type in a little company love right now. Type in where you work because in any business, in any operation, it comes down to your people. You're as good as your people. Matter of fact, the fire breathing dragons that you're, you're rubbing elbows with right now as you watch this live, you go, yo, TD's doing this like six P's to success to amp up your business life. Those people count. If you're a leader, if you're a vice president, you're a general manager, if you're a leader in your business, you know, how are your people? Are these people that are elevating the mission and the purpose of what you do every single day? Because ultimately your success comes down to the people. You've heard me talk about it before. The bigger your dream, the more important your team. It doesn't matter if you're just starting out and you're greening your career or if you've been in the industry for 20 years. And then again, if I'm talking to a trainer, if I'm talking to a, regardless, if you're an entrepreneur who's starting your business and you're scared, and you're like, man, I don't have money. So many of the DMs I got from yesterday's post, are you stuck in a rut? We're like, man, I have huge aspirations for my life, but I don't know how to get to where I'm going. Well, focusing what we're doing right now on these six pieces is going to help you because the bottom line is this. Even if you're a one man or a one woman show running your business, IG and FB, Bottom line is it comes down to the people you're learning from. Who are you investing your time, energy, money with? Who are you hanging out with? If you're a young kid right now because you have no school right now, uh, who are you hanging out with? Are you going out late at night and doing the wrong things? Are you distracted? Because if you're a 15-year-old or you're a 50-year-old, doesn't matter. If you're distracted, you can't live your ultimate purpose. I need you dialed into your best practices. Best practices mean how you're training, what you're eating, what you're consuming. Are you doing the right things with your training? Are you taking your supplements? Are you eating all the right foods? Or are you going out and boozing, not eating the right stuff, you're eating a bunch of garbage. If you are, garbage in, garbage out. That's not just your mom telling you that. That's me telling you that as a coach, that if you want to be great, if you want your purpose to be defined, okay, your people matter. 
Most importantly, you matter. Because if you stink, your business will stink regardless of what your career is um, on that right there. Next up, regardless of your occupation, we're talking about the six Ps to amp up your business, your energy, and your life. By the way, you like that little symbol right there? I've always used that. It's shorthand. Energy. Energy that makes the world go round. And I better see these comments coming through right now like, hey, good point. If you need to make any change on the second people, let me know because most of you are too scared to make the change that need to be made within your organization because you're playing in, a, in, a, in a, an environment of mediocrity. Amp it up, make the change that need to be made, and then dial in your programs. What do you offer? What are your services that you offer uh, on that? And again, here at Fitness Quest 10, it's training, it's Pilates, it's yoga, it's massage therapy. Those are our programs that we offer. In the, in the Todd Erkin side, it's mastermind groups and mentorships. These are programs. Sometimes y'all need to eliminate programs from your business. Maybe you offer too many things. Or uh, are you like some companies that offer like one or two things? By the way, Carnison, beta outing. One thing. Okay, you got beta out. Well, let me, let, me, let me change it. Oh, sustained release beta outing as well. You got focus, focus, focus thoroughbreds on becoming the best in the world at what you do. In and out burger. I don't eat in and out, but you ever go to their, their, their shop? They got like four choices, right? Really simple. Sometimes your programs need to be whittled down a little bit so you can focus on that. I challenge you today as a coach, I'm coaching today on the whiteboard and I love the whiteboard. It goes back to my like football playing days and draw up the plays on the board as I'm trying to help draw up for you right now the success in your organization, in your business, in your career, in your own personal productivity, in your performance of what it takes, purpose, people, and programs. Do you need to add any programs like we have feeder programs here at Fitness Quest 10. We got the Board Short Boot Camp program going on right now. They're eating right, they're training right, they're supplementing right, they're doing all the things to get to physical, physical, with a P uh, on that right there. What does it take to be your absolute best uh, on that? Now let me get to one here uh, you may be not comfortable with. Promotions, promotions on that. What are your promotions uh, right there? Your promotions is marketing. What are you doing to market your services? Now, let me tell you this. Let me challenge y'all, regardless of what career you're in. If you're uncomfortable with marketing, oh, I might be talking about myself too much, or it might be, I don't know if I want to share that. If you're not, you're going to get beat to the punch, and you're going to get beat to the punch by someone that's not as good as you, not as good as your business, not as good as your product, and all of a sudden, like they're winning the game because you were scared to promote what you do. Now, let me link this up. If you are purpose-driven, thank you, Rick Warren, if you're purpose-driven and you're on fire, and all of a sudden, now you're promoting what you believe in, you'll stand behind, you'll die for, literally die for, I'm willing to die for you to say, hey, if you're a mind right maniac, if you're going to get your mind right and you're going to take the best habits and snap your bands, literally sometimes you snap your bands and you're going to go out there and you're going to fight the darkness that's out there, what are you going to do? That's purpose driving promotion. I ain't afraid to say that because why? I'll die for it. You got to get behind a purpose that you put the right people in place to make the change you need to. You're going to put the programs in place that you know are going to change lives regardless of what you do for a living and then you're going you're gonna to promote it. Promote is marketing. Marketing is sharing a story. Share your story more. You've seen me share. Matter of fact, look at today's Instagram. I, on my shirt, it says, Live a life worth telling a story about. And on the back side, it says, What's your story? Live a life worth telling a story about. What's your story? Share your story more. And if you're like, Todd, like I was in Orlando, Florida this past weekend, I performed better. You're like, Man, you don't know, T. Like, I've been through hell and back. I was, in, I was incarcerated. I've been on drugs. I've been arrested. Guess what, folks? Share your story. If you're scared of your story, you ain't going to be successful and you're not going to actually ultimately get to where you want to go as the six P's ascend on up on that. So share your story, promote, promote what you're doing. Okay, get out there and share the gospel of fill in the blank, gospel of fitness, the gospel of transformation of body, mind, and soul, the gospel of nutrition, the gospel of uh, whatever it is that you do, fill it in, and don't be afraid to share that unequivocally, authentically, and genuinely, and people will like you for who you are, or they won't like you, and if they won't like you, then you're not going to serve them anyway, so keep moving. That's a reminder. It's not easy, but when you are just purpose-driven, man, I keep coming back to the foundation of it all, all these things matter. You're like, Hey, this is some serious like whiteboard talk here. Next on up, okay? I'm like, I'm getting so intense, I'm wearing out my, my pen here. I got like nothing left on my pen. Processes, okay? What is processes? These are systems. People don't love systems. I can tell you that they don't love systems, but they save you some time, energy, money. Systems, they save you time, energy, and money. 
So when you think about systems, I think of Michael Gerber and E-Myth. Oh, I don't like to read. Start reading. I don't like to public speak. Get out and speak more. If you want to be an expert in your community, in your city, in your state, in your country, then I'm going to require you, not ask you, require you to go speak more and to go write more. To get on live more like we're doing right now. And these comments better be flowing. Because I have no idea if there's one person, there's 20, there's 50, there's 5,000. Because when you share this, when you share this when you're done, we want to infiltrate the universe with more positivity. Because if you're doing this, okay, you're going to positively impact more people. Saves you time, saves you some time, energy, and money on that. you got to be on fire for that. Michael Gerber talked about in the processes. Let me tell you what. It takes butt glue, butt glue, getting your booty with some butt sometimes on a weekend or late at night after the kids go down, sitting your butt down and the systems of what it takes. I remember just a few weeks ago, I got on the phone with Carnison. Okay, you know I work very closely with them about, hey, what are we going to do to make some serious transformation and change with America coming up here in the latter part of the year? Right now, because of my purpose and what I'm all about is I don't like just sticking with what we're doing. So we're going to have some exciting news coming up here real soon about Q3, Q4 leading into 2020 about some things that we're going to do to do that. Guess what, folks? That takes writing it down. That takes systemizing the plan and what we're going to do on that right there. You got purpose. You have people. You have programs. You have promotion. And you have your systems and processes. I'm going to share with you the last P. And on this last P, I'm going to look at these questions and comments coming through. I'm going to ask my team who's been watching this right now because, again, you better have some questions and comments floating through. Not just Hey, hook the brother, hook the sister up with the car to some swag bag or uh, some of the gear I'm giving away. I want to see some bona fide business questions. We talk about six P's to amp up your business, your energy, your productivity, and your life. I want you to get real, just like I'm being real with you. If you want greatness, you're going to have to do things that you are not currently doing. To get to another level, if you're stuck in a quagmire of mediocrity or being average, what are you willing to do? That one, two, three things. Declare it right now, Instagram. Declare it right now, Facebook. Like, What are you truly going to do to amp it up? Don't be like, well, it's June 13th. I'll wait till the half point of the year. I'll wait till June 30th. No, declare on June 13th, 2019. My life's changing. My business is changing. And what's it going to take? Okay, to get all these aspects, because when you do the last one, at the end of the day, okay, we're going to talk money, profits. Who wants to talk money? Put, show me the money. Put, show me the money in your comments right now. You're going to be eligible to win some, maybe money, maybe some prizes, maybe some swag bag, whatever it is. But the reason I put profits in here, especially in the training world and fitness and in this, people are often afraid to talk about money. But here's the bottom line, folks. If you create profit in your business, in your career, if you work for a company and you do a good job and you start to make more money, if you're a purpose-driven man or woman, guess what happens? What? All of a sudden now, okay, you start to bring it all the way around back to purpose. So let me give you an example. I just shared it earlier on. If the profits are good and we have good uh, raising, raising of funds and is that Think about what's happening with the Impact Foundation today. Nine scholarships are going out to nine boys and girls that are going to college because of purpose, the people who are surrounded with the Impact Foundation and who have so generously given back, and then the programs we've had. Okay, We have, between Scripps Ranch in San Diego, at large, and Brick, New Jersey, across the country, we have over 15 scholarships going out because of purpose. Now you're like, okay, great. That sounds good. Folks, here's the bottom line. <laughs> the next P, okay? I'm going to ask you this. Your physical performance right now, what are you doing literally as I coach you literally on the whiteboard for your own body, mind, and soul? Body, mind, and soul transformation for you. And I don't care what you do because trainers, coaches, you're not immune to this. Moms and dads, man, we have more pressure under us than ever before. And the summer is busy and you want a break and you don't get it because you're carting Johnny or Mary or Betty all over, the, all over town. And you're like, I'm shot, but I want to be successful. It always comes down with being 30 to 60 more minutes of selfish of your time. If you're sick and tired of helping everyone else and you can't help yourself, I'm right here to help coach you, your mindset, your mindset to say, you got to get your body, mind, and soul right. On the body side, what are you going to do? You can put in, you can declare right now in the comment section, because I am going to read all of these comments coming through. If, you, if I'm preaching to the choir, give me a little like button, give me a little heart, give me a little comment, and share with me, what are you doing to declare your own physical performance? Maybe it's training. Maybe it's more consistency with your training. Maybe, <laughs> I, I got a little, a little double dosage today. I got a great hour workout. As a matter of fact, those of you that were on my Instagram stories this morning saw the great hoodie with a little Rocky on. 
Double that up. 3.2 grams just this morning. That's not even like, you know, later on before I go to sleep on the recovery side, off days. I don't have any off days right now for the next 13 days, baby. Going in svelte into idea world. But for you, what are you going to do? On the nutrition and supplementation side, what changes would you like to make in your own program? And IG, Facebook, like what are you willing to do so that we look at purpose and people and programs and promotions and processes and profits, all these things. Like it requires change. And change, since Orlando, Florida, I've gotten so many direct messages on especially Instagram of people like, hey, great talk, Todd. I want to make these changes in my life. Fantastic. The first step is sharing it, writing it down right now, share it, and then do it. Follow up and let me know, hey, Tiddy, this is the action step I'm taking. Because if you don't take action, you get fired up from a whiteboard session or a live event that I put on, and I'll say, you're like, hey man, I know why I gotta do this. We write down arduously on your purpose. We create strategic plans and action steps for what it's gonna take. If you don't take action on that, all of a sudden it doesn't matter. The mental side, <laughs> some of y'all are spilling your beans to me on it privately. Thank you. Thank you. Because you know what? You fire me up. You fire me up, Instagram, Facebook, when you share that. Because listen, you got to keep fighting. Life is going to keep beating you down. But you got to get up and you got to move. You got to literally physically move your body. If you're down today and you're listening right now and you're in bed, you're getting up from a nap, you're just waking up, man, get up and move your body. Move it. And I'm talking like get a little jacked up, get a little cray cray, get a little carnison beta out in your system. Beep. Hold on a second. Let me get a little further jacked up. Never bad to have a little extra during the day. Is hydrate up, get your water, get your pre-workout in. During your workout, workout, start to flip your switch. For me, it happens on 17, 18 minutes. All of a sudden, I'm like, dis, dis, dis. you ever hear the buzzies? All of a sudden, you're like, woo, I feel good, right? You're like, hey, I see all the comments coming right now. I don't even see it, but I see it. I feel the comments coming in. Because here's the bottom line. If you want to get your mind right, you got to get your body right. You got to start this training. Amp it up. Train with some other fire breathing dragons, hire a coach, whatever it takes to do that. And then for your soul, your spirit, journal. Guys, I can't emphasize enough in this live today on Facebook and Instagram. And when I when I talk to Carnes, they're like, guys, I'm going on and I'm just gonna talk about the six P's to amp up your business, your life. And I know it doesn't deal with training, but it does deal with training. Because all this is, is if you're not physically in the best shape of your life, you can't be so amped up about your purpose and you're like, man, I can't wait for Idea World. Perform better, can't fit pro, our three and a half day mentorship, which we're just about to announce, all these things. You gotta dial in to your best practices. When you do that and all these things happen, I promise you, your business or your career, regardless of you're just trying to figure out your purpose, if you're like, Todd, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm searching, guess what, get more quiet time. Journal your thoughts and put them on paper. Hang out with more people and don't be half into your job. Be all into your job. Learn from your mentors in your, in your career. Maybe you have a director of marketing or you have someone, a GM that you can learn from. Lean in, don't lean out. Lean in and serve the mission and the vision and the purpose of the company. And all of a sudden, it's gonna be part of your DNA or it's not. And if it's not, then you're in the wrong job or you're in the wrong career and that would require shift and change but all of a sudden like man i am behind that purpose i'm fired up then great things happen so my friends we're going to uh, answer some questions now your six p's and you can do it your purpose your people your programs your promotions and marketing the processes are your systems and of course at the end of the day you have to have profit you don't want to butt, work your butt off 60, 70, 90 hours a week and they're like, man, I could just put food on the table. There are times in your life when you're going to be like that. But we ultimately want to make choices that we can do to come back and ultimately serve purpose. And the bigger your pur purpose, the deeper your purpose, the more people you change and impact and that you serve, man, all this stuff is going to take off. But regardless of how much success that you're having or not, you must take care of yourself. One of the questions I often get is like, hey, I'm down in a valley right now, uh, what should I do? The first thing to do is make sure you're getting your workouts in because it's not like, hey, I'm gonna start working out or training when I get a certain level of money. No, you can use your beautiful body, start to walk uh, out in your neighborhood. You can start to drop down and do some push-ups and body weight squats. You can do some things. As a matter of fact, uh, next week, the end of next week, I'll offer another workout challenge because a lot of you guys are like, hey, I like those workout challenges. Good, I'll give you another workout challenge next week. I want to stick to the whiteboard today on that. Do me a favor, ask the questions now. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like if you like uh, today's whiteboard session. And I'm gonna give away these gifts here in about five minutes. So without further ado, I'm gonna flip this bad boy around. I'm gonna have a seat, you can have a seat with me. I'm gonna have Impact Body Plane Going Out Wow Book, Mind Right Maniac shirts. We got the Carnison swag bag. And uh, let me just take the Facebook post here and uh, let's go with Instagram. What's up, baby, what's up? What's up? 
what's up? Yeah, now I can actually see you guys, what you guys are doing. See all these comments coming in on that. And let me know. I like the likes. Facebook, thanks for all those likes and the hearts. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, Daniel, Reveal Fit Pro. Thank you for your DM, Grant, uh, Daniel. I love that. What are some of the systems that has worked best for you in your business? Number one, we're in the fitness business. Obviously, if you're a trainer, coach, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, your business needs systems. You have to have the systems. Again, it's behind me on this. For us personally, I'll tell you what's worked and what's not worked and how sometimes uh, going through some, some challenges can actually help your systems as well. Number one, the director of first impressions, the people who make an impression in your business, that's a, a system we have of how to answer the phone, how to give a tour, the first 20 seconds leave an impression for someone regardless of your business it doesn't matter if you're in the supplement business if you're in the nutrition business if you're in the fitness business if you're a teacher you got to make great impressions kids if you want to someday play for the high school team or you want to get recruited guess what the first 20 seconds when you give a handshake and you look someone in the eyes you leave impressions so you want to make sure you always leave a great impression what didn't work is like you know several years ago someone threw a brick in the window in the middle of the night and stole all of our jerseys and uh, we didn't have a system, so when the when the alarm went off in the middle of the night and the police showed up and all of our jerseys were stolen, we didn't have a system for that. And now we have systems for everything. You can also uh, delegate different roles as well. So your director of first impressions, uh, what do they do and have them write down all of our... Um, all of our uh, people that are check-in system, it's absolutely important. That's your money. If you, if you don't know where your money's at and you're not making a profit, then you're going to suffer on that. So uh, good questions right there. Uh, Daniel, I like it. Down to get your workout in. Uh, what questions do you ask people on your tours? Great question. There's only three questions, by the way, uh, that we ask. Only three questions on our tours. Number one, what have you tried in the past? That's number one. Number two, why didn't it work? And three, how can we best help you? Those are guiding our tours, and I'm, I'm sharing some things I go into depth in with our culture at Fitness Quest 10. We do this in our three-and-a-half-day mentorship. Our three-and-a-half-day mentorship, we go deep into building a world-class culture, but those are the three questions. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Cabot Taylor, appreciate that, brother. Um, right there, TD on fire, pure fitness. Omar Garza, yes, I want the shirt. I want your shirt. You just DM me just a little while ago and said, hey, I'm coming to Idea World. Can I bring you a shirt? As long as it says Under Armour on it, I'll wear it. Uh, but Omar, thank you, uh, Pure Fitness, for what you do. I would love, you saw me yesterday, uh, be a champion of life uh, shirt. Uh, on that, one of our followers here, uh, Pearson, well, thank you so much for that shirt. I love when you guys send me shirts on that stuff. Uh, so always a pleasure, always a pleasure. Uh, yeah, uh, Chestnut, what's up, Terrell? Remember, you're not... Competing with anyone but yourself when training. Push yourself to limit, but don't base others' progress. Hey, by the way, Facebook, Instagram, thanks for the thumbs up and the hearts. That's right. Uh, Chestnut, my man, what a great story. Uh, Terrell, I, I still encourage you someday to write a book on your story. Uh, you got by a guy who uh, retired from the NFL, uh, standout all-star from Philly, the tough street to Philadelphia, went to the University of West Virginia, Mountaineers, uh, had a standout career there. And uh, T. Chestnut has been battled through adversity after adversity after adversity. Matter of fact, T, I'm going to hit you up because I got a, I got a podcast coming up here this summer that you're going to like. And I want to, I want to talk about your story as well, Chess, because, man, your story is going to inspire millions of people as well. And I've told you that since the time I met you and you trained at Fitness Quest 10. But Chess makes a great, uh, a great thing here is stop comparing yourselves. On the Instagram world, A is dangerous because we look at everyone's good stuff. Hey, listen, if you want to be on Instagram, I love y'all Instagram. I love Instagram. But not to the point where you're playing the comparison game because comparison is the thief of joy, they say. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't look at your Instagram for an hour before you go to bed. That's a great challenge because you're going to bed, look at Instagram and everyone else's great stuff and you've got stuff going on in your life. You're like, man, why am I the only one? You're not the only one. Everyone's got stuff going on in their life. So uh, great point on that. Uh, Adrian Parsons, are you kidding me? Australia's in the house. Yes. Agent Parsons, have you ever missed an Instagram or Facebook Live? I want to know. Because I'm just going to start shipping everything over to you. You're just going to have, like, the whole stock at the front desk at Fitness Quest 10 is going out to Australia pretty soon. But Team Parsons, what's going on? Um, how do we come up with a plan? We sit down, get butt glue, and my team and I come up with a content calendar. Otherwise, it's like, hey, what am I doing today? What am I doing today? Guys, if you're doing that, you're playing that just kind of like what's next to that game then you need to come to my mentorship the one day or the three and a half day because you need to step away from your business. Otherwise, you're going to be busy being busy and you don't even know where you're going. You have to know where you're going with your purpose again on that. And you have to reverse engineer your success. Why am I sweating as much right now as I was this morning early on? Uh, yeah, show me the money. We got fans saying, show me the money. Are there some simple guidance to get my high school athletes to have their best season? Matthew Smith is in the house. 
Yeah, number one, I'm telling my kids right now, we got seven on seven tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, we're building for a championship right now in June. You build it. Everything counts. Every rep counts. Every set counts. You talk about get your mind right. The best way to get your mind right is to train your butt off and become stronger, faster, more explosive than ever before. Because when you are strong, fast, and explosive, you have the confidence and, the, and you know that you're prepared to go out there and kick butt on a Friday night. So Friday nights... Friday nights are one on Monday through Thursday. The training that takes place, the arduous training, the visualization, the preparation, the, the film work, all of that. So Matthew Smith, thank you for making a difference in your athletes' lives as well. But they've got to buy into the hard work it's going to take. Kids, if you're watching this on Instagram, I say kids, I'm talking like, man, they were all the way up to age 50. All those kids up there is, uh, man, you got to make sure you're working your butt off. Don't think because you've had a certain level of success in your career that you can like, hey, just cruise. As soon as you go into cruise mode, man, that's when you're most, most like to get your butt beat. Matter of fact, if you just had a recent success, you're most vulnerable for a quick downfall because you get a little lazy, a little fat, right? On like, hey, I've had this success. So, man, uh, yeah, love it, love it. Mark Pearson is in the house. I was wearing your shirt yesterday, Pearson. Love it. Thank you very much. I'm going to impact like never before. I want to see those purpose coming through. People want to show me the money. I like that. Show me the money. Uh, Gretchen, what's going on on that? Hey, Jules, do we have any good questions coming through? We had a lot of comments. I want to see the comments coming through here. And I'm giving all this stuff away in just a matter of about two minutes. My mind right. Maniacs are in the house. Tracy Taylor, Buffalo, New York, loves you. Thank you very much uh, on that. Jules, any questions firing through on that? Let's see. Helen, what's going on? Hey, if you would like to go to Idea World, Idea World on June 26th to 30th, I'm going to have a special treat just for you. I have my TV show uh, that's coming out here after this episode gets filmed. It's the final episode. If you're in the SoCal area on June the 28th, Friday morning, 8 o'clock, Friday morning, June 28th, and you just want to come to that, hit me up, DM me. I'll have a special pass just for you to get into that. I would suggest you go to all of Idea World Club and Studio Summit and the one-day mentorship. But if you can't do it and you just want to come to that workout, I invite you all to uh, to do that. Hook up the Jersey Connection. Lori Legal Sawyer, what's up? I'm going to be in the NYC. The NYC on Monday with Under Armour. We have a special thing we're, uh, we're working on and filming in New York. If we have any New Yorkers on the line, if you want to congregate in like Central Park and get after it with some cray-cray, matter of fact, we'll have a little carnison party. I'll bring a bunch of pre-workout. We'll have a little pre-workout party, get a little pre-workout pump, and then get after it in uh, Central Park. I'm up for it. I'm game for it. Under Armour. Under Armour, I know you're watching right now. UA. Can you build like a 50-minute workout in my program, like sometime between like uh, 5 a.m. East Coast? It's only 2 o'clock in the morning my time. I'm just waking up about that time. We'll get a little workout, Under Armour. Carnison, would you join me over there in NYC at least? Hook a brother up so we can hook up like 50 people or so in Central Park, and we'll go have it. NYC, UA, Carnison, TD workout. If you're in New Jersey, New York, and you want to do that next Monday or Tuesday, who's game for that? We got some filming and shooting to do. Hey, Rock, can you hear what I got cooking? Yo, tender Rock. Can you hear me, Rock? That's right, Dwayne. Hit me up, brother. We go into Central Park. My team's all laughing. You're probably laughing, too. Dallas, Texas, Pam Patrick's in the house. Hola, Elizabeth Swanson. What's up? What's up? So it's time to hook some people up right here. Do you see personal training as a profitable business platform with a shift towards small group training? Hey, Kevin, great question. This is the last one. I'm going to give these prizes away uh, on this. Is this the bottom line is if you are great at what you do, yes, personal training is still a profitable business platform. If you train and you charge in congruence what your value is and your overhead's not too high. High overhead, it depends on what you're charging and what your expenses are, right? And today, profit isn't how much you bring in. It's income versus expenses. If, you, if you're paying all these people all this money to do whatever you're doing and enough money's not coming in, there's not profit there. So, hey, if you're great at what you do, I believe the best, the people that have mastered their craft, if they charge for that, it ain't cheap. But if you are committed to your purpose and you're great at that you may attract less people but pay you know charge a higher value so i'll go against the grain with a lot of the other quote called experts saying it's all small group and large group training on that hey listen if you do that fantastic we have it at fitness quest 10 but you bet your bottom dollar is that you better make sure if you're doing large group training and you're focusing on the numbers you'll lose those numbers because you're focusing on the numbers versus the people always focus on the people, your clients and members there and the experience and the culture and great things will happen. Hey, if like 
if any business, again, I'll go back to nutrition, supplementation, if it's just about the numbers, you're gonna create a real crappy product, you ain't gonna change lives, and if you don't change lives, people aren't gonna use what you do, so you gotta come down to the quality of the experience in the session. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up, IG. Uh, on that. So um, that's the bottom line is if you're great at what you do, I think there's always going to be a market for us. Um, and and uh, Kevin, thanks for that question. Helping cancer survivors beat cancer. Pam Patrick, that's your purpose. Do me a favor and I'm giving these away. Guys, I want you to type in if you haven't done already, your city, state, and country, because some of you are from a different country. If you're going to Idea World, let me know. You're going to Idea World, you can just let me know. I want to see you on, if not my one-day mentorship on Wednesday, June 26th. On Friday, June 28th, we've got this epic Ignite workout, and it is going to be epic, my friends. You talk about that. I'm talking, I went to a J-Lo concert Monday night. If you're a J-Lo fan, like, can you just like let me know you're a J-Lo fan? Because Melanie, my wife, she had her birthday. I took her to J-Lo. Guys, I'm on fire. I'm ready to go to like, I learned a few things at the J-Lo concert that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put into my workout idea world. Maybe I'll have some special guests for you. J-Lo, are you listening? Uh, on it. I, I don't know. We are going to have a dance party though. We're going to have a little dance party at idea world. It's going to be a little cray cray on that. So uh, I'm not even sure where I was going with that, except purpose and mission. That's what it's all about right there. Uh, fear not fitness. Mead, Colorado. Very good, very good. Yeah, you're tagging if you're going to uh, Idea, uh, your city, state, country. Uh, if you're going to Idea World, One Day Mentorship, or the Club and Sewer Summit, all these thumbs up, hearts, and likes. I'm loving them. And lastly, and I'm giving all this bad boy stuff away, do me a favor, Facebook, Instagram. I know you can't do that, but I want to see your comments. Is this, is if you gained one dose of inspiration today out of one of my six Ps, out of purpose, people, promotion, uh, programs, uh, processes and profits. Do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Talking about promotion, I want you to share this right here, this live with your community. But put your emphasis of the six P's and how you're going to amp up your studio, your career, your business, and what that means. Because when you share that, now part of my mission is to motivate and inspire you. This is a free live right here on purpose. I'm going to inspire, motivate 10 million people to greatness and create impact every single day. So you can help me with that as I help fire you up and say, tss, tss, you dial it in. What's it going to be? And please do that. Share that and let me know physically what are you going to do? What are you physically going to do to get your body, mind, and spirit at a higher level? Because if we're ascending up the ladder here, going up, we're climbing up. Notice the ascent. Starts with the mission, starts with the purpose, and we climb up. It's going to take a more valiant effort by all you fire-breathing dragons and mind rate maniacs to do it. If you're a policeman, if you're a fireman, if, if you're a teacher, if you're a doctor, if you're an engineer, if you're a construction worker, if, if hey, if you were down at Haskell in Jacksonville where I was keynote last week, I uh, man, gosh, if you've got that up there and you commit to a routine, I promise you, just like I would with any of my athletes I work with, is that you can ascend up and you can amp up your own success, your results, your energy, your productivity, and your performance in your life. And we've got it all here for you. I, I hope this helped you today. And uh, without further ado, Jay's Garden Spot, Brick Jersey, baby, Tony and Gannon. You just won the Carnison swag bag a few a few months ago, I know. So you're probably due for another one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, because I know your family's all eating that stuff up. Um, no matter how much you know, you can always learn more. Alice Cost, truth, don't ever be the smartest person in the room. You want to keep learning on that. Did I see a Jimmy Mackey? Jimmy Mackey down in the Bahamas? Are you kidding me? Guys, if you saw my email today, Jimmy Mackey took that video. I'm going to share it on Facebook later on. Took a great video of you talk about energy in a room. Mackey did an awesome job. Thank you for doing that. I didn't even know you were doing that. So thank you. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'm seeing hearts. Thumbs up. Gretchen, shoot back. Preach, preach. Mark Pearson. I love it. How about this name? John Bone Crusher Felker. Love this. I love your name, Bone Crusher. Woohoo! Man. Bone crush. I'm about to go out and get a little bone crushing and again work out too. Y'all are fire me up. What the focus is going on around here, Ryan Morris, Trina Gray? Where y'all at? Yeah, boy. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Man, so many comments today. Any other questions, team? Jules, what we got? Nope, we're good. Can I give you a Fit for the Call t shirt? It's my fitness ministry. And one more thing as well uh, Can Fit Pro. Boom. Yep, Can Fit Pro. By the way, 
Do we have a Raptors? Any Raptors fans out there? Are we going with Golden State tonight? And this is going to be crazy. Uh, no, no Kevin Durant. He's on the shelf, obviously, with a torn Achilles tendon. I called it uh, hours before that that was going to happen. Uh, tough, man. What a, what a warrior that guy is. Pardon the pun. But Kevin Durant, uh, kudos. Speedy recovery to you, uh, KD. But I'm going with the Raptors, man. They're going to close this thing down. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, San Diego State. We rock it, baby. Uh, Boudreaux in the house. Blondin, Shawnee Blondin. Beautifully said, TD. Thank you very much. Tom's River, New Jersey. Long Island, New York. Orange Park, Florida. Williamsburg, Virginia. Try pride. I'm coming back this fall. I promise I'm coming back this fall. I got to see a football game back at the alma mater. William Mary. Washington. Ferndale, Washington. San Mateo, California. Kona. Middletown, New Jersey. Yeah, boy. Got a lot of Jersey folks. I'm back in uh, New York City, the NYC. Uh, we got SoCal in the house. We got Ontario, Canada. Savory, what's up? I saw that post. Come on, Raptors. We got a lot of Canadian fans in here. Raptors, Raptors. Brunswick, Canada. Canada, I have a one-day mentorship coming up attached to CanFit Pro. It is coming up. Hey, without further ado, let's give these prizes away on this. Let's start. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish with the Carnison swag bag uh, on this stuff. Carnison swag bag, if you want that, you better right now type, I want the Carnison swag bag in. Uh, Carnison, you're, you're hooking brothers and sisters up all over the place. Looks like the terrible towel. Uh, you talk about sweat. By the way, is this the best or what right here? Hey, y'all take a screenshot right now. If you want a screenshot, go... I'll give you a screenshot. Get your phones ready if you want. You got a little Carnison. You got a little Fitness Quest 10. I got my signature on here. We rock and rolling. Ready? I'll give you a screenshot. On the count of three. One, two, and... <laughs> this is going away next. First up, I can't see with these beautiful glasses on. Uh, we got the gray hoodie. Okay? With the gray hoodie. Who's got the gray hoodie? Jules, let's name that the gray hoodie. Daniel. What? Daniel who? Laverde. Laverde. Daniel Laverde. Gray hoodie time. Mind right maniac. Boom. That's one. Next. We looking for the Mind Right Maniac. You could be on if you commented here. Mind Right Maniac goes to? John Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher! <laughs> bone Crusher. It's because your name. You get a Mind Right Maniac. I want to see some bone crushing in that. Next two. And then we go with that Carnison swag bag. Wow Book goes to? Wow goes to Lori Fisher. Lori Fisher! You got it, my friend. Lori Fisher. Wow Book. DM me. I'll hit you up. We'll send it on out. Uh, Impact Body Plan. By the way, who's ready for the version 2 Impact Body Plan? Anyone want a version 2 coming out here? Impact Body Plan. Who are we going to? We got... Pam Patrick. Pam Patrick. Pam Patrick. If you already have a DM, if you already have this, DM me, Pam Patrick, because you like, you're a fire-breathing yeah, dragon on that stuff. So if not, let me know. We'll get you something else. And lastly, if any of you are like, TD, hook the sister up with some Connison, or hook a brother up, we're going to have this. Uh, let's see. All of this, if you would like it. And if you don't want it, then let me know because you'd be cray-cray. You'd be cray-cray to not hook up, man, pre-caged, in cage, shaker bottles, glasses, all this good stuff going on. Let's see. We're going on the Facebook and the Instagram right here. And I see the swag bag. This is going to Pure Fitness 2009. That's my man, Omar. You want the swag bag? You got it. <laughs> Omar, you got it, my friend. I'll hook you up at Idea World. At Idea World. You just see me, I'll have a swag bag in tow. You'll look like Santa Claus. I'll be walking around Idea World like this on that. Matter of fact, I'll just have you know all this stuff coming off me. Guys, that's a wrap from today. On behalf of Carnison, Beta Alanine, thank you so much for joining me on this live. Any questions, comments, keep the DMs coming. Hop over to Instagram right now. I made a, uh, a post this morning about Idea World. I want to know if you're coming there. If you're going to be in the NYC or anywhere close, you want to get a workout in next Monday or Tuesday, we may have a little a little jam fest in Central Park and we'll get after it because I'm in final lean down mode here and I'm amping up my personal routine so I can hit the six P's on that so we can ascend up the ranks, have profit all the way back to serve the purpose in our lives. I love you guys. Thank you for what you do every single day. Keep fighting. Keep your mind right. Whatever it takes. Keep living with passion, purpose, and impact. We'll talk to you guys real soon.